story to tell. There are only three heavy star fighters from countries with the top air power in the world. However, according to assessment, the Russian Su-57 is better than the US F-22 and surpasses the Chinese J-20 in maneuverability. The Su-57 fighter is a fifth-generation star Manteron fighter developed by Russia. The fighter is expected to be the backbone of the Russian armed forces in the future and will be used for air defense and ground attack operations. The Su-57 developed by Sukhoi is the first Russian fighter with their capabilities and advantages serve speed, weaponry, and sensor. Building on the best of the Russian aerospace industry, automation and artificial intelligence technology, the Su-57 will significantly improve the combat capabilities of the Russian Air Force. It is expected to replace first-generation aircraft such as the MiG-29 and Su-27. At supersonic cruise speeds, the star fighter Su-57 has a range of more than 1,500 kilometers, more than twice that of the Su-27. However, the engine developed specifically for the Su-57, the Estelai 30, is still incomplete, so the Su-57 still uses either 117S or AL-41F1 turbofan engines with thrust vectoring. Due to its excellent aerodynamic layout, the Su-57 can cruise a supersonic up to Mark 1.6 without afterburner. The range can reach 3,500 km when cruising at subsonic speeds. Materials for the Su-57 fighter mainly made of composite materials, which significantly reduces the total weight. The wings and fuselage were harmoniously blended, combining the purpose of interceptors and attack aircraft. Unlike the Chinese J-20, the Su-57 uses a thrust vector engine, significantly increasing maneuverability. Its thrust vectoring is also considered to be better than that of the American F-22. With high maneuverability and supersonic cruise capabilities, the Su-57 is expected to have an advantage in close combat with other fifth-generation aircraft, especially the US F-35 fighter. For air-to-air -air combat, the Su-57 is expected to carry four million visual range missiles in its two main weapons base and two short-range missiles in the wing root weapons base. With the internal weapons base, of course, it couldn't be possible to carry as many weapons on external hard points like fourth generation fighters, but it makes the aircraft stealthy. Advanced avionics are also incorporated in the Su-57. With high automatic control and an artificial intelligence system, will help reduce the pilot's workload, allowing him to focus on combat missions.
advanced electronic systems will allow fighter jets to exchange data and communicate with ground control center and the squadron in real time. In addition to the X-band active electronically scanned array radar at the nose, there are also cheap X-band AESA radars for increased angular coverage. In terms of stealth, Su-57 is more efficient than the previous generation. However, according to assessment, the stealth of the Su-57 is not equal to the F-22. In terms of weapons, the Su-57 can carry four long-range missiles and two short-range missiles to perform air combat missions. The active radar-guided K-77M is the primary medium-range missile. The K-77M is an upgraded version of the R-77 missile. This is an active radar homing beyond visual range air-to-air missile, known as the counterpart to the American AIM-120 AMRAAM missile. Russia also plans to add a new R-37M long-range hypersonic air-to-air missile to the Su-57. In terms of ground attack capabilities, the Su-57 is armed with KH-38 air-to-surface missiles, as well as multiple 250 kg KAB-250 or 500 kg KAB-500 precision-guided bombs. The Su-57 also has external weapons hard points under the wings, which can carry additional weapons to perform combat missions when there is no need for a stealth. The 101KS infrared search and track turret mounted on the starboard side in front of the cockpit. This sensor can detect, identify, and track multiple airborne targets simultaneously. I am a KB integrated a Phoenix squid, which includes a multi core processor and real time operating system, can automatically track targets and propose the most efficient solution for the pilots. Thanks to its outstanding maneuverability, the Su-57 can dodge incoming long-range missiles and engage enemy aircraft with the line of sight. The Su-57 fighter has also successfully performed combat test missions in Syria. The Russian Air Force has ordered 76 Su-57s. The contract was officially signed in June 2019. It is expected that all deliveries will be completed by 2028. By December 2020, the Russian Air Force has received the first mass production Su-57. My video about Russia Su-57 answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.